Hey, Keller Williams agents, Garrett Stewart here with Command Consult, and I wanted to go over, I just had a closing on Friday for a million dollar home. And this million dollar home actually came specifically uh, from a monthly neighborhood nurture email that prompted me to reach out to this uh, client, past client of mine. And I thought it would be appropriate for me to let you guys know how you can use this as well to hopefully prompt you to reach out to some potential people you might not think are ready to buy anytime soon. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to utilize the neighborhood nurture. Now I know a lot of you may already use this, but maybe not to the full-fledged capability to make it the most efficient for you and your business. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you a little bit uh, of what this could look like. Uh, first things first, we'll go into our contacts and make sure uh, a contact has a neighborhood attached to it. And so I'm just going to use one of my test accounts here and we'll type in my name and there I am and we'll just go right here. Now you can see right here I've got myself here. I've got a neighborhood attached. I don't have an address in here, which you do not have to have an address. So this is a great point to know. If you don't have someone's address, you can always, if you know an area that they're in or interested in or something like that, you can always just add uh, one or two or three neighborhoods around just by clicking the add neighborhood button and searching for the neighborhood or finding it on the map right there. Uh, so you can see here uh, I'm in Reno, Nevada and I have Damani Ranch right here to have as a neighborhood and you can see right down here I got an email a while back. Uh, so here was a uh, on June 10th I've got an email uh, so I should be getting another email in two days from now and it has the neighborhood trends in here. Uh, so once I get this email, you're going to see this explore neighborhood option. And uh, so I have set myself up on a bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. Now you have the option to do a monthly or bi-weekly. And so either once a month or every other week. And with that, it, it's going to send an email from you to about the neighborhood, whether it's one neighborhood or multiple neighborhoods. Uh, and have all your information right there on it branded to you. Now, once they hit this button, this is the very key thing that happens because uh, as soon as I hit that, it is logging it in the Keller Williams system. It knows I clicked on that email and is now viewing this neighborhood snapshot. So if I go over here into contacts, as you can see, uh, June 16th was the last activity. Today's June 22nd, so hopefully I'll hit this refresh button and We'll see this load up and look at that. I viewed that neighborhood uh, as the client. So it is tracking this. So this is going to prompt me to see that someone had viewed this. Uh, so I can go on, I can look at it. And how many times a client asks you, oh, what's going on in this neighborhood? I saw a for sale sign down the street. How much is it? I've had that happen multiple times. So let's just click on one of these homes here. This one looks like a nice one here. Uh, so I click on it. Here's the thing, it can give me information on the neighborhood, I can schedule a tour, ask a question, you know, maybe I hit ask, ask me and it's going to come down here and be like, hey, saw this property, what's, you know, why is it so high, why is it so low, whatever that is, uh, could all be right in there. Uh, and it just has different information uh, about that specific property. So pretty cool um, about that property. And that opened up on a second page. There are neighborhood stats up here they can do. The client can actually add their own neighborhood as well. Lots of value for a client that's just wanting updates on their neighborhood. They could be 10 years away from buying or, or, or selling their property or buying whatever it is. Um, or it could be tomorrow. You never know. And this is where the story of me selling this million dollar home uh, happened. Uh, so I'm going to go back onto this contact. I'm going to hit this refresh button. And now you can see, uh, like it was logging, you can see I had actually shows the property I looked on. I can actually click on this and it'll pull it in in the listings tab and show me some information about this property. Uh, so I can, you know, be aware of what type of property. Uh, this client is looking at. So how do I know someone's looking at this? Now, as of today, I don't have an alert system yet, but there's a very simple function to be able to know that they are looking uh, on my website, uh, whether it's a neighborhood nurture or actually just looking at homes on there. So we're going to go right back into contacts. 
Now, my suggestion, obviously, uh, show all your contacts at once is just normally my uh, generic view. And then I can actually hit this last visited tab. So if you don't have this last visited tab showing up up here, you may have to hit customize columns and make sure it is checked. I normally have it towards the front because this is a really important one for me for all the people I have neighboring nurtures and things like that. So if I hit last visited, it's going to sort it by most recently visited. So I should be at the top when this loads. And once that loads in, give it just a second. Look at that. I was on the website two minutes ago. I had someone three days ago, five days ago. So you can see and even look at that. My mom was on 11 days ago. So it's encouraging. She's looking at her emails from me. <laughs> um, and so anyway, I had a client that was looking. I was just every couple of days. I'll just peek in here. Just a real quick step. Look and see who's recently on here. Now, once I find him on here, or once I see someone's on here, I'm going to it's going to prompt me to reach out to that client. Now, here's the trick. Don't play big brother and say, hey, I saw you were looking at homes, unless they obviously reached out to you, messaged you or something like that. It's a prompt just to check in. If you haven't checked in for a little bit uh, and for maybe, you know, as you can see, a lot of these are past clients. Just go in and reach out and say, hey, happened to see you were, uh, or ha wanted to see how things were going, got any plans for the 4th of July, any conversation like that, just to bring that up. Once you have that conversation, uh, then a lot of times they're going to bring something up. So that's what happened with this client. I sold them this house uh, uh, probably two or three years ago, and you know, I they had no intentions of ever moving. It's a beautiful home. I don't think they're ever going to move there. So I, they, they were never on my radar to do anything more with them uh, for a while. Well, I saw he was looking. I called him, just checked in. Hey, our son is looking at moving here. We wanted to do it. Turns out he wanted to buy a million dollar home for his son. Yes, buying their son a million dollar home. Uh, you know, I, 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 we all wish we could have that, <laughs> that as their parents, but uh, um, regardless, they're going to buy their son a home. They were looking at homes on there, just they wanted it nearby, and just like that, we started shopping. Now, they very well could have called me up uh, later down the road when they're ready, but literally, once I got off the phone with them, I showed them a home two days later, and we were under contract on another home a couple weeks after that. So... This all happened really fast. What would have stopped them from walking into maybe an open house or something like that and ended up writing an offer there? Now, again, of course, I've been staying in contact with them uh, every so often, so hopefully they would have reached out to me, but you never know for sure. Um, and especially with maybe leads you haven't done business with, but you have their neighborhood info, this could be very important. So uh, I think utilizing this uh, as this last visited is going to be huge. Now, my next step and suggestion in this is you might not have their address or maybe their neighborhood or their email address, for example. A lot of times we have their cell phone number, uh, maybe know an area they live, but we don't have their email address. Well, how can we get that? Well, there's a couple of great smart plans in here that I want to recommend. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into smart plans and we're going to set up we're going to look for people that don't have the email set up or, uh, or don't have their email or maybe we don't have their address and we're going to get them set up in there. So we can go into my smart plans and click library and we can actually search for missing address. Great way at the top here. Um, oh, I could not miss address, missing address. There we go. And you can see I did a smart plan for you guys already right here. You can hit view steps. You can even preview the sim. It's just a simple email, uh, just reaching out saying you wanted to set them some valuable information. Uh, just right there. Simple email. Wait seven days. And then the next day I didn't hear back from you. I wanted to see if you received it. Basically just another prompt for them to reach out. Everyone gets busy. So all you got to do is add, add that smart plan uh, and you can download it right there. And I already have that in my smart plan, so it's getting the air. But it, once you hit add smart plan, it'll show up in your my smart plans. Now you can do, now that was missing address. There's also a missing email in here as well. And Marty Miller has a great missing email smart plan I'm going to recommend here. And we're, uh, you can view steps. It's a simple text. So you have to have a Twilio account for this to work. And uh, 
Marty has this already set up. Hey, contact first name, it's whoever with KW. One thing just to take note of this is make sure that you are adding your name in here when you edit this because while the contact first name will autofill, your name will not autofill on this text thing. So uh, just be aware of that. Uh, but we can hit add smart plan, add download, and there we go. Now you can see it was added a smart plan. So now I go back to my smart plans. We can go missing email and we can hit edit. Go in there and edit this here. Anything that's blue is will autofill, but if it's not, then you're going to have to fill it in yourself. Uh, because uh, now you can just go right here and type in your name if you'd like, agent first name, and it all should autofill in. Um, but I'll just type it out here, and that's just just easier for me. I think there's an extra space in there. There we go. Garrett with KW, hope all is well. And you can change this to any way you'd like. We're under that 480 number, so we're fine. Um, and just like that, we can hit save, it is done. So make sure you change that name before you set it up anyone on the missing email smart plan. So again, we're safe. Now the next thing we're gonna do is if we're missing an email, missing address, whatever that is, you can actually go to contacts to see who's missing that. Uh, and you can sort this contact the same way. While there, if you wanted to filter this and show your past clients that are missing emails or your sphere that are missing emails, whatever that is, you're going to use that same method where you have the customers. Now, I don't want to show any of my uh, databases, emails, or, or addresses, but you're going to scroll over. I have mine scrolled over here. You'll just make sure you have the customized columns. You can make sure like the address is here as well. I hit apply. And just like that, it's gonna show up over here. Now, I can scroll over to it, but again, I don't wanna show people's addresses on here. And then once I have that listed, we're gonna use the same method that we hit last visited. If we sort that, it's gonna show people's addresses at the top. So just scroll down until you see you don't have addresses, and then you can start selecting them. So let's just say we got that, and then we just look for people that didn't have addresses. Well, then we would just start saying, be like, oh, doesn't have an address, doesn't have an address, and start finding people that don't have addresses and you can select them and then bulk action them and add them to the smart plan. Right there, we would choose that one and then hit missing email smart plan or missing address smart plan, whatever one you're using and it's going to get sent off to them. So uh, then hopefully they'll reach out to you, they'll email you back uh, if it was an email asking for their address or they'll text you via your Twilio number back. Uh, and hopefully get back to you there. So great way to engage in your database, see who's on your website. Again, this is either on uh, on your neighborhood nurture or it could be on your app or agent website. So um, you'll definitely have to filter those out just to see, um, but check that out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com for more training, support, videos, uh, and any help with setup with command. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. And let me know if you have any success with this. Would love to hear your success stories. Thanks again.